There might be a car, there might be a truck, there might be more than one, which would be crazy. That is what's laying like right on the side of the bank. It's deep enough. Zero visibility. By far the most difficult I've probably, I've probably ever dove so far. All the windows are up except the driver rear. The uh, back window on the hatch is busted out and the windshield's busted out. Dale Robinson went missing out of Iowa nine years ago and no one has seen him since. That's what brings us here today to see if we can find him. The city that Dale went missing from is in Sioux City, and he went missing August 3rd, 2013. He traveled to this casino the afternoon of his disappearance, and surveillance video from the casino show him in the parking lot at 1 p.m. There were reported sightings of him at museums in Missouri Valley and Council Bluff, but those were not confirmed. He was driving a maroon and gray 2000 Ford F-150 pickup truck with an Iowa license plate number 870 Zulu Charlie Foxtrot. Now Dale was 93 years old and he did have early onset Alzheimer's. Now sadly, a lot of these cases end the same way. And uh, it's really sad, but it, sadly it's true. But um, we're here to search the river, see if we can find him. We're, we're gonna start right at the casino where he went missing. There's a boat ramp right there. Uh, it, it's the most obvious spot to look. So that's, that's obviously how we're gonna go there. And uh, if we find something, we're gonna dive it. We're gonna see if that's him or not. Now, this river is treacherous. It is wide, it is fast moving, it is zero visibility. Uh, this will be a super, super hard challenge, but I think we're up to the job. So let's go down, get in the boat and see what we can find. Now we got the boat all set up. We're down here at the water. Uh, this river is moving. I mean, if you could, you could see like eye level. It's kicking pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't just a little bit nervous. But I think if you're on your toes, then that's better than just back. They, they say don't get comfortable. So uh, I'm not comfortable in this river. But either way, let's get in the water and start scanning. We don't have a lot of water to scan. We might find something immediately. So let's uh, fingers crossed on that one. I mean, we're looking at the water is 69 degrees. So it is kind of warm. 12 feet deep out here in the middle, which is nothing. And extremely sandy. So if there is a car, it might be buried, but it might be half buried, but there's definitely no tree trunks out here, no rocks. Yeah. So if we come across a car, it's gonna be super easy to spot. So I now, think, now I'm optimistic. I think we're gonna find something, I mean. Sure hope so. And this makes me happy too, because if we dive this, it's dark and like zero visibility. But there's, no, there's no obstructions. It's yeah. sand and there's a car. So as long as we can get a rope on it, we'll be good to go. 12 feet deep. I'm not seeing anything though, sadly, but we'll keep searching, make sure there's nothing here. So we've cleared this bow ramp pretty good. Uh, it's deep enough, but we were not seeing a truck in the in the immediate area, right? But uh, this this river is kicking. Like it's got a serious current to it, and it's very sandy. So who who knows if he went in this river, how far downstream he got pushed? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hug the bank the whole way back and see if he drifted somehow right there and got hung up on the side. And if we strike out. I'm going to go back to that one spot where I saw something and go over it about 40 more times and uh, until I'm satisfied that it's not nothing. And we got the magnets. We always drop it. Chances are we'll get snagged on something, but I ain't scared. Let's do that. Thoughts? Well, I mean, this isn't a, it's not, we're not leaning towards suicide, right? Probably an accident. No, the word is he was disabled. He was, he was, he was older gentleman. I mean, I, I think I know Alzheimer's had, was, was part of the story. He had some health issues. I guess it really, it could be a number of things, but if it was suicide, the bow ramps are usually the obvious choices. And uh, so we have to check those first. I mean, it's the easiest access to water. And there's only like so many boat ramps. So we already checked the one and there was nothing there. I guess we'll check this one. And there's one farther down. And there's a couple of roads I think that go by over here. Gonna, I guess, clear the obvious bodies of water first and then uh, hopefully find them. If not, we'll have to get a game plan on what we do next. Just went over an old bridge site. And you can see the bridge right, right there, like the whole thing went across and they just blew it up and sunk it. That's all that remains back there. That's pretty cool. I am really surprised that we haven't come across anything yet. We've been searching a lot of this river. Two spots of interest 
I can't definitively say it's a car with the sonar shots, but it's something. So, so I just paused the screen for a second so you guys can see what I'm seeing. That is what's laying like right on the side of the bank. It's deep enough and it's got, it's, it's rectangular. I gotta look at that. You're gonna have to look at that. It's definitely a void. I can't, for the life of me, I can't say it's a vehicle or not. But I know it's something that's big enough to be a vehicle. I, so, look, I think it's stuck. I think that was stuck. It, I mean, it's gotta be something man-made. So, all right, what we're doing right now, he's got the magnet, we're hitting this spot. Like I showed you guys on the sonar what we're doing. It's, there's something here that I can't tell if it's a vehicle, but it looks man-made and it looks big enough to be a car and it's in just the right spot. If he went in off the boat ramp, the current would carry him. I would think the current would, would bump him up against the, uh, right where it's at. I mean, it's a perfect spot for it. And like, he's been playing with the magnet right now. And I mean, it, it hit on something. Right. All right, yeah, so you're definitely on, I think a vehicle. I don't know which one though. While we was doing that, I had, I had an image pop up on the sonar that, I mean, I, you could definitely see a window so I just, I don't know, yeah, I don't know. Oh, gosh. Yeah, don't let that, that fall. Is not, uh, don't let that fall on you. Very sturdy. All right, I got all my gear on. Fixing the head back upstream. We already got it marked with the magnet, as you saw. Got all my dive gear ready. Let's get back up there. Let's see if this is the truck we're looking for. I gotta tell you, I'm not looking forward to this. I mean, you can see behind me, this current is ripping. I mean, it's a huge river, so you wouldn't think it, but man, this thing's moving fast. Zero visibility, by far the most difficult I've probably, I've probably ever dove so far. So it's a good challenge, whatever. Worst case scenario, come back up. It's not that deep, 10, 11 feet. It's not that far out. Easier said than done. Yep. <laughs> oh, all right, let's do this. Blackbird. Dark. Dark, okay. Let's see what happens. Oh my God. So all the windows are up except the driver rear. The uh, back window on the hatch is busted out and the windshield's busted out. Couldn't tell what color it was, couldn't see. I could not see this far from my face. It's definitely a hatchback. I'm not sure what kind it is, but yeah, I mean, I felt that mirror and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna rip this thing off if I can get it, if I can't find a tag. So there was no plate on it? No. All uh, right, yeah, I did find something else. I felt it. I'm pretty sure it's not human, but kind of bone. Dang, dude. Yeah, I don't think it's human though. Uh, it looks short. It's pretty short. I mean, that's. It's old too. That looks like an animal. You just felt that by the car? Yeah, I just happened to feel it, and I was like, "Whoa!" Dove that thing, zero visibility. But I got the right hand passenger side mirror off, and. Uh, I mean, as all things considered, it's in pretty good shape. Cause it's been, it's not been down to that long, but we did look up that number and it came back to a 2007's Mitsubishi Outlander. Something like that, yeah. Don't know what the color is, but it's not the truck we're looking for. <clears throat> I also randomly felt this on the ground and grabbed it. I knew it was a bone. But, uh, you know, obviously I don't think it's human. I think it's a deer, to be honest with you. You guys tell me in the comments what you think this is, but I'm guessing deer, definitely not human. There are one, maybe two more anomalies next to this vehicle. Yeah. And I couldn't, obviously I couldn't see anything, so I'm going by feel alone. But I didn't make my way all the way around this car. So what, some, some of these other things down there might be bumped right up against it. So I say we come back tomorrow and uh, we just start diving. Just feeling around, see if we can come across those other things. I feel like, like there's at least one other car. I think there's one more vehicle down there. There's something, there's there's something down there again. So yeah. like, and I gotta make sure because like that's that is where he would have ended up if he would have drove off in off that boat ramp. So <clears throat> make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss part two of this video. And until we meet again, my name is Jeremy, and I will see you on that next video.